Be holy. Be holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or chase the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Regardless of what you've done, your life is meaningful. Be holy. All right, listen, we want to welcome everybody back to Be Holy. We're glad that you're with us on today. Today is what another splendid day. It feels like spring here. Oh, it feels like spring. I know it's still winter. That's all right. That's all right. It's all right. Listen, but today is still a great day. You are great people. God is great himself. We serve a great God. He is going to do great things in your life. He will. He will. And like the opening was this. Regardless of what you've done, your life is still meaningful. Regardless of where you've been, your life is still meaningful. It's meaningful to you. It's meaningful to God. It's meaningful to the people that are around you, especially when you think no one's watching, nobody cares or anything like that. God is still watching. God knows everything. He has not forgotten you. Don't ever think that. He's never forgotten you. He won't. No, he won't. Listen, your life may not have turned out the way you think it should have turned out, right? But you still have time to change it. You still have time to change it. We all have time to change what we think our life should be or what it ain't. Uh, You never know. You know, we thinking it should be one way, but God sets it up to be a whole nother way because it's more beneficial for you later. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you didn't get uh, the degree that you want Maybe you didn't get the job that you want Maybe you're not making the money that you want to make Maybe you're not doing the things that you want to do To help the community Maybe you're not able to uh, physically do The certain things that you want to do right? But it's okay Your life is still meaningful It is still meaningful And don't let anybody tell you different You tell them that Nard said That my life is meaningful hmm. But let's read it in John Let's read it in John 10 John 10 and 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. So God came that we might have life. He came because life is important and life is meaningful. He came that we might have it and then not just have life, right? But have it more abundantly. But the enemy, he does what? He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And so the enemy has has, has had free reign in a lot of people's lives. Now, understand this. This was John 10.10, 10, right? This was prophesied long before John 10.10. 10. Uh, now, John 10.10 10 comes up, and that's when Jesus was walking on earth. God was walking on earth. And so all of us were born after that. But he was looking forward to all of us in the future. And so he says, the thief comes to steal, to kill and destroy. But I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And trust me, if life wasn't, if your life wasn't meaningful, if it wasn't meaningful, God wouldn't have come down and done that. Life is meaningful. What was that in that in the one prophet? He says, I knew you before you were born. I knew you before you were born. Let's read it. Uh, Jeremiah 1 uh, verse number 5 Jeremiah 1 verse number 5 I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb I knew you before then right that's what he told him before you were born I set you apart so not only did I know you before you were formed in your mother's womb 
before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Now, this is what God told a prophet, right? And so if God knew the prophet before he was even formed in his mother's womb, he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I don't know if he made you a prophet. I don't know how much he set you apart from everybody else, but he did know you and he gave you life anyway. So life is meaningful. And even further down, what was it? Uh, Jeremiah 20, what was it? 29, 29 and 11. I think that's what it was. And so it says this. For I know the plans I have for you. This same prophet, right? I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. So it's not like, the, you know, the enemy, he comes to kill, steal and destroy. He says that the plans that I have for you are for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. You know, sometimes we, we use our uh, non-hope having selves to diffuse our future. But God set up a future for everybody. It's a future for, for us all. You know, uh, sure, there's a future on earth, but then there's a future in, in heaven with him. So while we're living on earth, let's do what we have to do here. Let's, let's live out that future. And let's have a hope in that future. But we also have hope in the future future. The future future of being with him, right? What to say? Uh, it, it, it's like it, he told the prophet that he knew him before it was even formed in his mother's womb. And then later on, he had him say this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. Now, he's telling somebody this, but it, it's still, you know, it's still applicable for us. You know, long before John 10, 10, long before Jesus was walking on earth well he walked on earth the whole time but anyway uh verse number 11 <laughs> again let the lord explain it to you for i know the plans i have for you says the lord they are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope so a future and a hope and if life was meaningless and didn't mean anything you know I'm sure God wouldn't waste his eternity dealing with us because your life means something. As a matter of fact, and for whatever life you think you don't have, he has another life after this one. See, the life we live on earth is one life, but there's another life that we live past this earth. So when loved ones die or, or, or people that we know die, there was a there was a life that was on earth, but then there's a life after this one. See? And you can't be afraid of that. You, you, as as hurtful as sometimes it is, <clears throat> all times it is. You got to be sure that you have a future uh, from God. God set it up. He wouldn't lie to you. He said He has a future for all of us. And he was talking to a group of people then, but you know it's applicable for us now. He had a future. He has a future for us all, and He has a hope. You get it. He has, we have hope so regardless of what we see going on regardless of what happens to us he still has a life for us he still has a, a reward for us remember we believe that he exists and we also believe that he's a rewarder to those who diligently seek him those who are looking for him those who are trying to figure out everything about him those who talk to him those who are looking for him yeah we do <laughs> so I want to tell you don't you sit there and feel bad. And if you do feel bad, feel bad for a little while and come on up. Come on back. Don't stay in that, that, that feeling of bad. You have a hope. It's not like we're living on earth and we don't have no hope. Sure, we're, we're fighting uh, invisible spirits that we can't see. You know, you're fighting the devil, if per se. You're, you're fighting evil that's trying to pull everybody down. Right? It is not people. It's spirits who's trying to do this And so we're fighting that every day But we're not on earth with no help We do have a help Our help is God Our help is God And so <clears throat> we, we wait on him Even though sometimes we don't know what he's doing We might not have a clue of what he's doing And he maybe hides it from us sometimes Just for the betterment of us So that we don't ruin the plan But 
Understand you have help. I have help. Your family has help. Your job and your, your co-workers have help. All of those people have help. Your employer has help. They, they have help. And, and so we would like for them to willingly grab for it. But if they don't, God is still a righteous God. He still looks out for everybody. Now, he, you know, he has, we have a special thing for the believers, but he looks out for everybody. And the devil can't reign and run and tear up forever, even though that's what it looks like. You know, even though he, the, the, the devil might uh, attack your finances, attack the economy, attack this, attack that, and try to bring everybody down and everybody under subjection. It can't work. It can't work. God has been running the world from the beginning. The devil has tried to take the the running of the world from God, but you can't. You know, you can't beat God. How are you going to outfight God? God has all the strength. The devil wouldn't have any strength if God didn't let him have it or allow him to be. You get what I'm saying to you? So, in the midst of everything that's happening, in the midst of everything uh, that people say, everything that people are working against you or anything like that, don't worry about that. You still have God as your help. He knew you before you were born, right? Before you were even formed in your mother's womb, He knew you. So, you were a thing long before you were even formed in the womb. And you were important to him then You're important to him now Regardless of where you've been Regardless of what happened to you You still have a, a, a chance to fix everything It might not be perfect But it'll be, it'd be perfect enough It'll be a change You get what I'm telling you? God in the midst of all that we've been a part of He still forgave our sins That's the key Remember that All your sins have been forgiven All of them Now it's time to believe it it's time to believe it You know, believe that God exists And that he's a rewarder To those who seek him If you're seeking him Believe that he's going to reward you for that You might not get everything right But you're seeking him You know, just like when you drive a car You don't make all the right turns You don't make all the right signal turns And all that kind of stuff You don't do all the right thing But you still drive the car You're still managing the car you're still managing the transportation and god is the same way listen he's made a way for us to all of our sins to be forgiven all you have to do is drive the car start believing it slowly but surely just start believing it and then watch what happens you know that you know yeah the the spirits are going to kick up then and tr really try to trick you and take you out as far as your mentality and and pull you down and depress you but don't let it happen thanks for listening to be holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. And for your convenience, you can now text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. Again, the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And we thank you for your support. Be holy.